And with that, I'm very honored to turn it over to my dear friend and colleague, Mikey Sherrill from New Jersey. Thank you. As a former Navy helicopter pilot and a former Russian policy officer in the United States Navy, I can tell you that for those of us up here who joined Congress to continue our service to our country, who joined Congress to make sure we were serving our states and our nation, last week was a really hard week. After months of what we thought was maybe an impossible negotiation, we came together in the Senate in a bipartisan way on a border deal to make sure we had critical investments in our border that our nation needs. And when the former President Trump saw that coming together, he evidently decided that it was better for his campaign not to fix the problem at the border, but to run his partisan campaign on fomenting a greater crisis at the border. We saw, as our Senate came together, to try to pass the supplemental supporting all of our allies. The Speaker of the House put forth a supplemental designed to actually kill the one that could pass in a really cynical move. So now, as we see the Senate, again, doing the impossible, coming together in a bipartisan way in these partisan times, and passing a supplemental that will support our allies across the world, that will support the United States in our ability to compete economically, to compete on our values, to make sure global democracy thrives, we again see the former president dictating to our speaker that instead of solving problems, instead of standing for democracy, the extremists in the House are going to take that bill down. It's really incomprehensible. It's really hard to see, as we're fighting tooth and nail to make sure our allies thrive, that that partnership between China, Iran, and Russia that is developing, that we stand strong against it with the democratic nations, it's hard to see the former president suggest that he would ally the, ally the United States with that triumvirate. So, as we move forward, I think this is a turning point, as Jason said, this is critical for our nation's future. We have got to pass this supplemental. We have got to come together and find a pathway to do that. I think the future of our nation, our economy, our values are all at stake. So without further ado, I will now 